Hi. Welcome to Comic Con again. Thank you. Everyone treating you nice? Always. <laughs> So Bob, I'm going to come in with the big, what can fans expect from this season? What excites you about it? Um, oh, is that a new way? I'm sorry. Thank you. Sure. Oh, yes. Right there, sorry. <laughs> um, well, you know, I mean, I started with the show in the beginning. I've been there from the beginning, and uh, we're, we're getting back to our roots a little bit, the kind of stories we're going to tell this year. So I'm excited about that. Um, I think we don't have as big an Uber story as we did last year, because I'm not sure how you top God in the end of the earth, you know. Um, but there's uh, the British Men of Letters will play a, a, a big part this year. Ultimately, uh, our guys in uh, the British Men of Letters will, will butt heads, because their methodology is way different than our guys with uh, the way they do uh, work. First half of the season, we have um, Hunt for Lucifer, who's body jumping, and I think some of the bodies that he jumps into are pretty interesting. Uh, so we're excited about that. Um, you know, our first Lucifer is Rick Springfield, and Vince Vincente, a aging rock star, and uh, we're happy about that. Um, and yeah, I think uh, you know we're just sort of getting started, but we're feeling our way about now through nine episodes that we know that we're going to do. Um, so far, so good. I think Andrew's doing a great job of uh, running the staff. We've got three new writers who we're uh, seem to be happy with. And, uh, yeah. So, um, we spoke to Sam before, and she said there's going to be some Mary Winchester kicking ass. We're going to see some other women kicking ass. Is that something you can tell me about? Well, Mary was a hunter. Uh, she was trained as a hunter. Uh, she knows her stuff. Um, and probably the only thing she feels comfortable with at this point is that. You know, she's not comfortable with, with the guys. It's an odd relationship of you know, meeting your children 30 years later. So hunting is something that she can turn to, something she knows. Um, so yeah, same old. Sam will kick some ass. <laughs> Are there any other characters returning that you can tease? Um, yeah, you know, Jody will be back. Yeah. Sheriff uh, Donna Hanscom will be back. Um, the two girls that Jody's looking out for will be back. I'm sure I'm leaving somebody out, but yeah, we you know we like to recycle these people. What's happening to the Winchester Brothers when in the premiere episode? Can you tease anything about that? Well, Sam is missing. Um, and, you know, so the first couple of episodes are really sort of the hunt and the uh, hunt for Sam. Um, Sam doesn't doesn't know that Dean's alive, you know, he didn't, he, he wasn't aware of what happened at the, at the end of the year, you know, and they thought that Dean was on a suicide mission, uh, and as far as he knows, Dean, Dean is, is gone. So these are all sort of interesting dynamics to put the season up on. When we, when they get together, uh, they're much more single-minded this year than they were last year in terms of what, what their mission for the year is. It's not to say that they won't be buddy heads or you know, disagreeing about things, but you know, for the first time, I think, in a, in a couple of seasons, they're sort of on the same page to begin with, which is you know, sort of the way this thing started. So again, we're getting back to our roots a little bit. As the season progresses, obviously there'll be stumbling blocks to, to that. Fans got a little bit nervous with the um, changeover in the writing staff with so many different people leaving and then Todd and Cole, post-production. Boy, Can you're you really give... up on it, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Can you give some perspective on that at all? Um, we're very happy so far with the, with the new writers we have. We have three new writers. The staff is kind of pared down. Uh, Andrew will probably do a little more writing than Jeremy did the last couple of seasons. The Brad and Eugenie are there. Bob Barron's is there. That's a good, solid base. Um, you know, personally, I'll miss Robbie. Um, but he was, you know, probably be there a long time and wanted to explore new avenues. Um, but I think the, the new writers are kind of giving us a little shot in the arm. They're, they're younger, uh, they're really energetic.
energetic. So far, they've come in with terrific ideas. So um, I'm pretty confident in the, uh, the quality of the scripts that we're going to have out. Nicole, who started as an assistant editor for us, and we made an editor, and she moved on. Uh, I'm missing Nicole, but um, one of our, you know, one of our assistant editors who worked for Jimmy is now going to be one of our editors, and that's sort of what we've done over the years is we brought people along. So. Um, you know, same thing with PJ, who's taking Todd's place. He, he's been with us for a number of years. He's really competent. So post-production, I don't think he's going to miss a beat. I'm not. Um, I mean, I'll miss some of those people, but I'm not concerned that we can't fill their shoes. With the British Men of Letters, do we have the potential to see any international uh, hunting? That's that's a little hard for us shooting in Vancouver. Um, you know, we've. We've gone international a little bit, you know, we went to graveyards in Scotland and things like that to to really do it do it effectively is probably outside of our capabilities to do a, a, a big story about that just because, you know, if you if you say it's London you wanna see London. If you say it's Paris you wanna see Paris. Um, you know, you can only do so many stock shots or, you know, put up from signs in the street. Um, so that's I mean, that's a dream of ours to actually be able to do that, but I, I don't know if that will ever come to fruition. It's a little bit expensive to get a big upgrade, you know, across the pond. It would be nice. <coughs> Are you going to address at all where the men of letters, the British chapter, have been this whole time? They're kind of just let boys run free, and now they're coming in to judge them, it seems. Well, I mean, the, you know, they're very secretive, uh, you know, as the men of letters in the States were. Uh, basically, what we're saying is that they've been aware of Sam and Dean, they've been aware of what's going on in, in America, staying at arm's length, but, you know, with this whole bringing Amara in and doing this and doing that, they really felt, well, geez, these guys are getting out of hand. They, 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 you know, um, and I think when Tony Bevel shows up, you know, basically, she says, you know, if the world survives, which apparently it did, great, uh, but you guys have had it, you know, I mean, this is, you know, and they've made mistakes along the way, you know, and, uh, you know so from somebody looking, excuse me, somebody looking from it from the outside, you would say, yeah, these are some loose cannons, and this is not the way we do business in the British kind of letter. And that's the big thing, you know, they're just very organized, very by the book, they see everything in black and white. Either you're good or you're evil. If you're evil, you're gone. Um, they don't. Uh, it's all organized. You know, they view the American hunters as just this patchwork of loonies out there, going, you know, picking their own their own missions, leaving collateral damage. You know, it's just not the British way. You know. <laughs> so that'll be. Uh, yeah, they, they'll they'll bump heads. Pretty, pretty hard in the course of the season. Thank you, Thank you, Bob. Thank you.